Following the path of a rock from its entry into the impactor, past the rotor and impact aprons, through to the outlet, it becomes clear that different gap settings will produce different product size results. A narrow gap setting reflects the material back to the turning rotor more times, resulting in a higher crushing degree and a finer product size. A large gap setting reflects the material back to the turning rotor fewer times, resulting in a lower crushing degree and a coarser product size. The granulation of the product size is not only influenced by the gap setting, but also by the rotor tip speed. A lower rotor tip speed produces a coarser product size. A higher rotor tip speed produces the reverse effect and results in a finer product size.